Yeah. 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 Now, a lot of, you know, Omar Minaya has focused on the pitching this offseason. Uh, not much else done in other areas in terms of position players. There's still a lot of free agents out there. Uh, who, would you, who would you guys like to see uh, the Mets bring in? And uh, Dave, <laughs> we know who you're not going to say. Right. So. <laughs> Right, uh, and I think at this point in terms of free agency, I think we're probably going to look at standing pat because uh, although I'd like to see upgrades in left field, we have two backup players in the platoon now. We have two backup catchers in somewhat of a platoon right now and uh, severely underachieving second baseman. Um, I don't aging first baseman too. Aging first baseman, but I think he'll be there for the season. I don't think he's going to go anywhere. Um, but it is tough to see Orlando Hudson still on the free agent market, but they have to clear Luis Castillo before anything can happen there, and I don't know that that's possible. So I, I don't see anything big happening. They need at least another lefty in the bullpen. Yeah. I, I think they can't get by without it. I mean, even if he's a a role, you know, not a, a front name. Not there are there are any front name lefties still out there for the bullpen. I mean, there's Juan Cruz and Will Oman is really the only two that come to mind. But you know, someone that can again plug away and come in when needed to you know, at least keep it competitive and not you know give up 15 runs like Muniz used to do. <laughs> For Carter and Gunstall, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he did all right. He did all right in September. He did all right. I, I tell you what, I, I I agree that the Mets aren't going to make any more moves as far as free agency goes. I mean, nothing big. No. You know, I don't think anything bigger than Bobby Kielt is coming in, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I would love to see Adam Dunn come in. I'd love to see anybody who can hit come in. You know, I'm not a big fan of Adam Dunn, but he's a bat, and the Mets need another bat in that lineup to really, you know, strike out some scary with him. I guess so. no, still going to hit 40 home runs. Yeah, if you're going to hit 40, 45 home runs, who cares? You know, you're still going to walk 100 times. Exactly. 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 Mm -hmm. Compared to you know a platoon situation where they might, Murphy and Tatis might hit 270 and not strike out a lot and hit about 15 home runs combined. I'll take I'll take Adam Dunn away. So no uh, no shake your fanny for Manny, but Adam Dunn support. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I'd love to see Manny. It's not happening. Manny's, Manny's not happening. Actually, I would like to see Pudge Rodriguez come in and get to a platoon situation with Brian Schneider, where they can both stay fresh throughout the year and you know not expecting him to be an MVP guy, but just to have another bat and another leader behind the plate. Can't deny Castro and Santana's relationship. Now. If Castro ever makes it onto the field. Yeah, I love him, but he's, he's so never he's healthy. Always, yeah. never it's healthy. always looked like they wanted to hand him the keys for yeah. the target to drop, and he's just never going to stay healthy. You know, that's the problem. If he plays more than two games a week, he breaks down yeah. quickly. So, um, you know, we've touched on we've touched on pitching, we've touched on the position players. So, you know, overall, are you guys satisfied? Are you guys comfortable with this team going into to spring training? And into the season. You know. Well, the goal is third place. I'm very comfortable with the team that's, that's currently. Uh, that was the next segment predictions. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know the, the way the team is set up right now. I, I, I'm not very uh, very pessimistic. I, I think they, they definitely needed another bat. They definitely need another arm in, in the rotation. They need at least one more arm in the bullpen. And I, I'm not I'm not seeing Carlos Delgado come back and, and have another. Second half like he did last year. You take you take away Carlos Delgado's on fire and forget it. The Mets the Mets are in second or third place. Uh, absolutely, I'm comfortable. I'm not ecstatic. They're not gonna you know, they're, they lose 150 games, but they're gonna they'll compete, but they won't challenge. I think that's the best way to put it. That is a good way to put it. Uh, you know, you're not gonna get the same out of Delgado. You're not gonna get the same out of Tatis. You won't get the same out of Murphy, I don't think, because they they figured him out at the end. If you throw, you know, breaking stuff away, he'll chase it, and he's done. So left field's a huge question mark, but with the team right now, I think they're just average. I'm comfortable where they are right now, assuming we get Oliver Perez or Ben Sheets. If one of those happens, I'm okay going into the season. 
We'll see how things work out with the catchers, with Luis Castillo in left field, which is a big question mark. <laughs> And uh, there's room to make moves during the season. Right, of course. Um, of course. And uh, if things don't work out, they can still make moves. They are, uh, I believe, as of today, was, uh, I saw a calculation that they're about $27 million for the season under the luxury tax for this year. So there's still room to bring in some payroll if they have to for the season without having to pay a luxury tax. <laughs> Hopefully not many. <laughs> But uh, I'm, I'm okay where they are right now, assuming either Ben Sheets or Oliver Perez is here. Okay. So I'm put you on the spot. Playoff team or not? As currently configured today? Yes. No. Wild card at best. Third place. Third place. Third place, Third place team. The uh, National League East is, is much improved. Marlins yeah, are going to surprise. Marlins are going to surprise, yes. The Phillies will be there. The Braves are a little bit better. Yeah. 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 And the Nationals. <laughs> are, are they still in the major leagues? Yeah. Uh, so um, I want to thank you guys for uh, for joining me today, talking about the Mets. Uh, there you guys have it. Uh, be sure to visit uh, these three guys, their websites. They do uh, excellent work on covering the Mets. Dave, your site again? MetsReport.com. Andrew? TheRoPolitans.com. Spell it for us. T H E R O P O L I T A N S dot com. Got it. <laughs> MetsToday.com. So there you guys have it. Uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. I'll say that on camera. I'd rather have Barry Bonds than, than uh, Manny Ramirez. And uh, I think the problem is that we know at this point Manny's not going to get the contract that he wants. He wants three years, four years, yep. 25 million per. What happened last season in Boston when he didn't have the contract that he wanted? He had two more option years coming at 20 million each from the Red Sox. And he was so unhappy, he quit on that team. He quit. Mm -hmm. And I've heard some people say he didn't quit. There's two sides to every story. I don't believe it. I think he quit. So, um, uh, I. So, uh, right there. so I do oh, not geez, want Manny with the Mets on a contract that he's unhappy with because we've seen what that can do. What if they get him for two years? He's not two years max. He will not be happy with that. He's, he, he's, he has I never thought about it like that. But you think it's better to have Barry Bonds, who might be in prison by the time <laughs> it's or can't like run, June, July? Can't play outfield? Or are we going to shift the Beltran and Church over? I for outfield. Yeah. It's like softball. <laughs> <laughs> I think Barry Bonds would be highly motivated here. I think that he's everything he's done, which some of it I don't agree with, and allegedly steroids. We'll say allegedly. Uh -huh. um, but everything that he's done was to be a better player, and uh, and I think that he would be highly motivated on a one-year contract to show that he still got it. Do you think motivation is going to replace the steroids as far as performance goes? Do you think he can hit as a, four, what is he, 48 years old now? <laughs> 40, 40, 147 40, years old. 40, 44 this season. And uh, I think that uh, that it may not replace the steroids, but they're not testing for HGH this year. Oh, that's a good point. Besides, you have an argument. Right. All right. Well, thanks, Dave. You got it.